Hey guys, Sean here. Uh, this video is going to be uh, talking about what my goals are for film and what I want to what I want to try and view uh, by the time I turn forty five. I turned forty four on September 29th of this year. So just over a month ago, I turned 44. And I started thinking about goals and, excuse me, the way we, we think about goals. And I started thinking, why, why do we always think about goals as calendar years, January to December? Because I'm sitting here, I was sitting there on my birthday thinking about, I was thinking about books, I was thinking about stitching, I was thinking about movies and, and the and the goals I had at the beginning of the year and how I'm way behind on them and thinking about, well, I'll just, I'll just do whatever and hold off and I'll, I'll start fresh Jan January 1st. And I know we, there's this kind of almost cleansing thing people think about of, of a new year and new new year new new whatever um but i just started thinking why why am i waiting until january to start new goals why don't i think about it as like a year goals of my next year of life so why why don't i set some goals of what i'd like to watch and read and and progress i'd like to make on my stitching by the time I turn 45, by this time next year. Um, the cat you hear is, it is five minutes to seven. They eat around 7.30. And so he is going to start getting loud and start bugging for dinner early. I'm surprised he's taken this long. This is the third video I've recorded. I'm surprised he's taken this long. <laughs> so this video, I want to talk about some of the film goals I've set for myself uh, for by the time I turn 45. Now, the list I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, the list I'm going to talk about, I don't necessarily need to get through all of the movies by the time I turn 45, but I would like to make significant progress in them by the time I turn 45. Uh, one of them I would like to finish by the time I turn 45. Um, but what I've, what I've done, I have... Um, I've picked, I've got, so, all right, rewind. Uh, I'll do the first couple lists of things that I want. I'm not going to list each movie. I'm just going to talk about uh, the overall shell they fit into. Um, but I, I'm way behind on the MCU, on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The last thing I saw was Thor Dark World. Um, so I am way behind on that. And I'll tell you why I got way behind on that. I was watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., right? And the, the, the television show, was, it was started before Thor Dark World came out. I actually just watched Thor Dark World like last year. Um, and I hadn't seen Thor Dark World yet. And I didn't know when I was going to get to. And I knew I s that had heard that upcoming episode, an upcoming episode of Marvel Agents of Shield was going to spoil the end of Thor: Dark World. So I had to stop watching Agents of Shield because I didn't want the end of Thor: Dark World spoiled for me. And then I started thinking about, well, the TV show is going to be tie into the movies, and that's going to start spoiling. If I don't keep right on top of the movies, then the TV show is going to spoil movies, and then the movies might spoil. The TV show. If I'm behind on the TV show, and that's just too, it's that's that's too interconnected. Keep them, separate them. TV movies, let them live in their own worlds. But so that's why I I, I got behind and I just never caught up. I just I just kind of it became overwhelming and I just gave up. But I would like to get through them, and I especially would like to get through them. And I know it's not going to happen by the time it comes out because it comes out this Friday. Um, I want to get through them because I enjoy them, but I more want to get through them now because the Eternals that's coming out on Friday as I'm filming this is being directed by Chloe Zhao. 
who is the Academy Award winning director of Nomadland. And I'm interested to see what she does with an action movie, with a Marvel superhero movie. Chloe Zhao is is very good. And I haven't seen her other two movies, but I have seen scenes from them. I've seen clips of them. Uh, her other movies are The Writer and um, Lessons My Brothers Taught Me. I think that's what it's called. Um, she's very good at letting silence speak for itself. She's very good at the understated, the the uh, the just the the quietness of life the i'm surprised to see her directing an a superhero action movie and i'm really interested in what that's going to what her style and how her style is going to fit into that movie and how it's going to be different from the other Marvel movies because, and I don't know who the other Marvel movies were directed by, but I know that Chloe Zhao is a director who knows how to let silence speak. And that makes me very interested in how she's going to treat a superhero movie. Um, so yeah, I, that's more, a bit more now why I want to get through the rest because I want Chloe Zhao. I've only I've only watched No Man Land. She's already a director. I want to watch everything she does. I loved No Man Land. Um. So I have to get through the rest so that I don't miss a Chloe Zhao movie. Um. But I also want to watch the movies of the DC extended universe. Uh, you know, Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman. Um. Those those are tending to be grittier and darker than the Marvel uh, universe, and I like gritty and dark. And I've always been a little bit more of a kind of DC Batman fan than I than I ever was uh, Marvel. I enjoyed Marvel, but I, I tended to lean more towards DC uh, growing up and when I was into comics. So uh, I I would like to to watch through those, and I haven't seen any of those. Um, but it's a much shorter list. <laughs> Um, so now what I've done, uh, outside of those, those are just two lists. I knew I wanted to try and make progress in and work through by the time I turned 45. What I've done is I've picked an actress, an actor, and a director to focus on. Now, these aren't going to be the only films I watch over the next year. There's a lot I want to watch. It's, it's November. I'm going to watch some November stuff. My wife and I, because we don't have a ton of time in October, usually to watch a lot of like the, you know, spooky season movies, um, we kind of extend that. We we do what she she likes to call it October, and we spend November watching the movies we didn't have time to watch in October, um, and. We're actually going to do some uh, film noir in that, so I'm going to get some noir November stuff mixed in with that. So, um, so there's going to be that. There's, there's, like I said, these aren't going to be the only films I focus on and and, and watch. Um, but I decided I, I I wanted to focus on one actress, one actor, and one director. I might focus on two directors. Um, so the actress I picked is Juliet Binoche. Uh, I've seen a uh, couple of her movies and I really enjoy her uh, as an actress and she's got a large filmography, many of which I want to see. Um, so I decided this would be a great opportunity. Just let's make her make, make, let's make her my focus actress. Um, and my focus actor is Philip Seymour Hoffman. Um, I have loved Philip Seymour Hoffman and everything I've seen him in. And again, he's got a large body of work, a lot of independent films, um, and stuff that I haven't seen. I, I haven't seen Almost Famous. He was in Almost Famous. I haven't seen that. But I have loved everything I've seen him in. I think I think he was one of our best actors. Um, it was sad that we lost him before we should have. And um, 
I can't believe Mocking Jay, the Hunger, the last two Hunger Games movies were his last movies. Um, I just, just looking at my list. Um, but yeah, he's got films like uh, Owning Mahoney, Love Lies, and Punch. Uh, I haven't seen Punch Drunk Love, but o- Owning Mahoney, o- uh, Love Lies. Um, what's the one with um, Happiness? I wanted to see Happiness. Uh, and I haven't seen that. The Savages, Sindosh, Sindosh, New York. Uh, he's just got a bunch of movies that I never got around to seeing. And other movies that I had no idea he was even in. So um, I decided to make Philip Seymour Hoffman my actor focus. My director focus is uh, going to be the fo- director I wanted to focus on for 2021 anyway. And haven't. And that's Andre Tarkovsky. Um I've watched I watched Ivan's Childhood last year and just absolutely loved it and decided I wanted to watch all of his films. Um, so what I it's not a huge list. So what I have left is Andre Rublev, Solaris, Mirror, Stalker, Nostalgia, and Sacrifice. Um, and I'm gonna watch those in order too, in, in in the order that they they were that he did them. The other two I'm not gonna watch in, or I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch like uh, Julia Binoche. Um, Words and I'm gonna probably watch Words and Pictures this month because it's leaving HBO this month. Um, so yeah, those are just gonna be as they come up. Um, but Andre Tarkovsky, I want to watch in order. I want to see his progression as a director, and I think I've been thinking lately that I want to do the same with Wes Anderson. Um, the Wes Anderson films I've seen, I've really enjoyed. So I would like to get all of his movies on Criterion Editions because all of them, I think, are available on Criterion Editions except maybe Isle of Dogs. Um, Isle of Dogs, Fantastic Mr. Fox might be. Isle of Dogs I don't think is. So his animated movies, I'm not sure of have Criterion Editions, but all of his live-action ones, I'm pretty sure do have Criterion Editions. But yeah, so I might do the same with Wes Anderson. So I might have two director focuses. Um, so yeah, so those are kind of the goals I said, I, I needed to give myself some focus. Not that I'm already paying attention to that focus, but, um, yeah, so on, on the channel over the next year or 11 months, you're going to be hearing as long as I'm, you know, can keep getting this film content off the ground and going, uh, you're going to be hearing me talk about a lot of, Julia Binoche, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Andre Andre Tarkovsky, and probably Wes Anderson films. Um, But that's all I've got for this video. Uh, Let me know in the comments um, if uh, if you like uh, either of any of these people. um, If you're if you're fans of them, um, what if if you are. Um, what films of theirs sh- do you think I should prioritize? I would say that for Juliet Binoche or Philip Seymour Hoffman, because I, I am doing Andre Tarkovsky in, in, in order. Um, so what Juliet Binoche and Philip Seymour Hoffman m- films do you think I should prioritize? Um, do how do you handle your film goals? Uh, do you think about them as a January to February? Or do you think of them by month? Um, you know, kind of what you, what's your process? Um, do you do you have any actors or actresses that you that you really love and uh, that you're focused on? Let's start a conversation about film in the comments. Um, so anyway, thank you to all my subscribers. If this, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you click that subscribe button uh, and follow me on this film journey that I'm trying to get going here on on, on YouTube. Um, and really this film journey that I'm trying to get going is in life. Um, I, 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 I used to be really into, in, into film and movies and I, I let it go for a long time and now I'm trying to get back in it because I do really love film. Um, so I hope you, uh, are along with me for the journey. Uh, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell icon, all that stuff. Uh, comments all of it helps with engagement and helps the channel become be more visible and reach more people Um, I'll see you 
all in the next one.